Hello, we are Green Class Force in MSP Green University. For Green Green, we are having a book series named as Pink Green. Now we are heading to Ms. Kutam Janit Ibrahwada, lecturer attached to the Department of Marketing and Tourism Management in MSB and Green University. For Green Green, we are going to have a new series called Pink Green. I would like to ask you some questions about the concept here in our university. First of all, I would like to start from this. We are a green university. What do you think about that? Okay, um, so MSVM's whole brand persona is uh, you're called uh, MSVM Green University. So I think that is one of our unique selling propositions and that is something that we have been positioning ourselves uh, for, from the inception since 2016. So it's a, I consider it to be a great privilege uh, to be working for an institution where our core ethos or our core brand is about going green. Uh, and it is a very humbling feeling to have this opportunity to work for a big university. Uh, even the time of the Okay, okay, so um, I think uh, it's not only in the name that we are green, in a lot of things that we do as a university, we ensure that we uh, keep our green promise. So I think uh, if you take a look from the commencement itself, the way that the university has been built, uh, and as we amaze all of these places where you see huge open spaces, it's a very large university which facilitates a lot of uh, natural ventilation, natural lighting. So from the building in itself, we firmly contribute to that green concept. Then if you look at uh, the ways within which we manage our waste, the ways within which uh, we manage our rainwater, the ways within which we manage our energy, all those are things that we are doing uh, in a green way. Uh, so I think when it comes to our waste segregation, all those things, if we take those in consideration, it is a very, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a lot of effort that we have put. So I think uh, from our management perspective, we have done a lot in terms of our great commitments. But then again, if you think from a university student body perspective as well, similar to your organization, many uh, student and organization activities, have contributed in numerous ways to make sure that NSBM continues to have this green concept in its own operations. I think, um, what are the other features that can be used in the future? I hope you're asking with regards to green concept. Yeah. Now. So, okay, I think uh, we have uh, taken a little bit of an effort in line with this since last year as we have introduced a, a module called Introduction to Sustainable Development where regardless of uh, the degree or regardless of the faculty that a student is in, everyone is inherently going to be studying this module in the first year of the semester. And as a result of that, I believe most of the students who are coming to the university currently have a good idea about what the kind of contributions that we make in terms of this particular green concept. But then again, I think one of the biggest misconceptions that people have with regards to this green conception is um, being green is having a lot of trees and things like that. So that is a very important part of being green at a university or at any business organization. But that is not the only thing that contributes towards what green means. If I go ahead and ask multiple students, uh, as to what they think green means, chances are a lot of them will say it is about planting a lot of trees and things like that. Everything that we do at the university from uh, waste management to all our activities to reduce certain things, energy generation, all the, those, these things at the end of the day contribute towards uh, being green. So I think uh, we can do a little bit more in terms of creating awareness, maybe some couple of workshops, uh, conducting some additional awareness activities and students Student organizations like your Green Task Force can also do multiple awareness sessions, not only about planting trees and things like that, but overall giving an overall idea as to what the green means from a very broader perspective as well. Uh, we have a lot of Do you think that you will be able to uh, make a difference in 
Okay, I think we have around 4,000 plus in faculty of business, but if you take the entire university into consideration, I think we have more than 10,000, 11,000 students. So we are a massive university and then again, if you look at uh, plastics, uh, plastic, controlling plastic, I think is, uh, it, it is the responsibility of both the university and also the vast student body that we have. From a student's perspective, I think uh, the biggest thing that students need to do is having that self-awareness as to why plastic is inherently bad for the nation. So I think if the students from their perspective can control themselves, stop bringing in plastic waste uh, to, a, to the university and disposing plastic waste within the university, I think we can go for that particular strategy. At a university level, we have taken certain measures. Now, for example, we have our own uh, separate single-use uh, plastic uh, recycling uh, project with plastic cycle. Uh, then we have taken certain steps like banning certain single-use plastic bottles within the university. So those things we are doing. But then again, I think uh, a lot of students who are coming from outside can bring in plastic to the university. But and I think it's the self-realization that uh, people need to have uh, not to do that so that we can actually be a plastic-free university at the end of this year. Thank you so much for giving us all Our main target is to uh, let our students know about this green concept because uh, they all don't know much about the green concept. Thank you, Elisa. My pleasure. Thank you.